Welcome. Uh, what I want to do today is show you how to solve a multi-step equation. So when dealing with multi-step equations, it's very important to simplify um, both sides of your equation before you actually try doing any solving. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look, can I do anything on the left side of the equation? Um, well actually, before I even get to that, remember for solving an equation, our whole purpose is to get a variable by itself, right? We want to take our variable and isolate it. Well here, you look at it and you say, how many variables do I have? I have a g here, a g here, and on the other side of the equal sign, I have a g there. So I need some way to get these all together on the same side so I can combine them. Well, before I even get them on the same side, I want to use PEMDAS, order of operations, to simplify both sides. So I look inside the parentheses. There's nothing I can do to simplify since these are not like terms. I do not have any exponents. There's actually no, um, or you can look at distorted property going the other way, but there's really nothing else that's going on. So what I can do is I can undo this parenthesis. I can just write this as 9, or I'm sorry, g, not 9, g plus 4 minus, now I'm doing 3q, minus 3g. So when I take a look at this, I can say, all right, well, I can use associative property to rewrite this. So it's not g minus 3g plus 4 equals 1 plus g, which I can't do anything on the right side. So now I can combine these two terms. g minus 3g is a negative 2g plus 4 equals 1 plus g, right? So, <clears throat> so now when I look at this and I say, all right, now I have a variable on the left side and I have a variable on the right side. So what I need to do is I need to look at this and say, how do I get my variables on the same side, right? Because I combine them on the left side, combine them on the right side, but well, I didn't combine them on the right side because there is no combining. But remember, our whole purpose is to get a variable equal to a value. I can't have a variable equal to a value if the variable's on the other side, right? That's like giving a definition of a, uh, of a word with the word in the definition. You can't, it doesn't make sense. So what we need to do is we need to get the variable on the same side. And to do that, it's extremely important for you to understand um, equivalent equations. Remember, <clears throat> when, I have, when I have equivalent equations, as long as I use the properties of equality, whatever you do on one side, you can do on the other side, you produce equivalent equations. Let me just reinforce my point. If I tell you that 12 equals 12, you obviously know that, right? It doesn't matter what operation I do to 12, as long as I do it to both sides, I produce equivalent equations. These equations are both true, all right? So that's the important thing for you to understand is just make sure you do whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So um, what I'm going to do is I always like to, when I'm thinking about getting a variable on the same side, I always like to get rid of the variable that's the smallest. That includes negative numbers, all right? This avoids having a negative number in my answer um, and then having to get it to a positive. So I always like to get rid of the negative number. What I mean by get rid of the negative is I have a G on the left and a G on the right. I can only have a G on one side. So I'm gonna choose to have my G variables on the right hand side. So how can I get rid of or undo negative 2G? What I can do is I can add 2G. Now, remember, if I'm gonna add 2G on the left side, I have to add 2G on the right side. If I add 2g again on the left side, I have to add it twice on the right side. Now, so anyways, adding 2g to 4 is not going to help us out again anyways, right? That you can't combine them, so there's no point. So you're going to want to take negative 2g plus 2g, and then I need to add a 2g to the right side. Now, I need to make sure that when I add a 2g to the right side, all right, we'll just do this. So therefore, now this goes to 0g plus 4 equals 1 plus g plus 2g. Notice these are like terms. I can combine them. Well, 0 times g is just 0 plus 4 equals 1 plus 3g. So notice that whenever I did the opposite operation, I got it to 0. And what I did was I eliminated the g on the left side. Well, 4 plus 0 is 4, right? So I really don't even need to write that. So now you look at this and you say, oh, it's a two-step equation. Subtract the 1 on both sides, and you get 3 equals 3g. Now, undo multiplication by dividing, 
And what you get is 1 equals g, which we can rewrite as g equals 1. That means the solution for this equation is 1. Whenever g equals 1, this equation is going to be true. There you go. Hope that helps. Thanks.